Hi guys, Matthias here. In today's video, I want to give you my top five best tips how to study poker. The number one most important thing happens before you actually study. First, you need to know what areas do you struggle with, where do you need to improve. Without that, you don't even have to think to begin studying. There are multiple ways of doing it. If you are already a little bit more advanced and use programs like a tracker, then you can go in your poker tracker and you use stats. And then you can see in what areas are you not performing well. Same works a lot simpler as well. For example, you are playing in your local home game and you know you constantly have a situation pre-flop where you don't know what to do, like what hand to call against the race and what hand to fold against the race. And the same on the flop. If you constantly struggle how to play against seabats, if somebody's seabats so small, like how to play against it, should you attack it a lot with racing, then you know that's an area where you struggle. That's my number one tip. Assess the current situation what is it that you think you need to improve? What is it that you struggle with? Only then we can go ahead on step number two. How do we study? And even more important, make studying fun for yourself. When I'm talking about studying, a lot of people might uh, be anxious and thinking back to school time. It's like, oh no, I have an exam, I need to study. And trust me guys, I was really terrible in school. My issue was that I didn't enjoy studying there. Everything for me was boring in school. I was just not interested. And so I have actually a very negative connection around studying. But it changed over the years. Studying in poker, this can be fun. You can really enjoy studying. I enjoy studying as much as I enjoy playing sometimes. And it's all about finding the right way, finding a way to study for yourself that works. If you're the kind of guy who is very interested in solvers, then maybe that's the direction you want to go in. If you enjoy being subscribed to the platform and watching videos where the content is presented in a very nice way and understandable way for you, that's what you should go for. I think actually that might be the best for the majority of you. But as mentioned, find something individual for yourself that you enjoy. Also, what is very important, you found a way that you enjoy studying. You also need a game plan. How much do you actually play and when do you study? Think something about yourself. You want to take Monday for studying or you want to study three times a week, half an hour each. Set yourself a target, make a game plan around it. Time, frequency, what is your ratio between playing and studying? And I think those are the two tips that are actually not going into a specific topic, just like in the planning stage, assessing your mistakes and finding a game plan that you enjoy and when to study. Tip number three, fundamentals. Here we are going into the first concrete strategical study decision. What do I mean with fundamentals? Fundamentals are situations that you repeat over and over again. So for example, if in number one, if on your list you struggle with some river decisions, before we even get to river decisions, we need to start correctly in a hand. And that's what I mean with fundamentals, preflop really important. You need to know what to open from each position. You need to know what to defend from each position. This is actually very easy to study if you have access to something like our poker code range view. For all our members, you know it of course, I think you also use it a lot. Just use the range viewer for whatever scenario you wrote down that you are not that comfortable with and where you want to improve. I think fundamentals is not only pre-flop, I also include post-flop situations that repeat all the time. For example, the button opened, you called in a big blind. Now you face a C button. This happens like all day long. Every day you play, it happens the entire time that you face a C button. So for me, that is also fundamentals. You need to know how to play against the C button. What are the correct hands to raise? What are the correct hands to call? And what you should fold? Looking at the same scenario from the opposite direction. So this time we are not the big blend facing a seabed, rather we are now the aggressor ourselves. We were the cutoff playing against the big blend. What should we seabed? What should we check back? Maybe a bit more detailed. What size should we actually use? Should we bet big on the flop? Should we bet small on the flop? For me, that is also included in fundamentals. Going into tip number four, here is where the details start. Now it's time for the turn decisions, for the river decisions, 
for facing the squeeze preflop, facing a free bet preflop. So this point will be very individual for every one of you. Some of you are aggressive players and you're comfortable with applying the pressure. Some of you might have written down that point. That's exactly where you struggle. You don't know how to play against that pressure. How do you play against the check raise? How do you play against the free bet? What are the hands that you want to pull the trigger with on the river? What should you go all in with, right? So there are an infinite amount of more detailed scenarios. For me, this kind of studying is very motivating as well. It's a little bit like a toy game. It's like a detail here. And if I figure it out, for me, this is like an aha moment. Oh, that's how it works, right? So I really enjoy this as well. For the fundamentals, I really think the best way is that you use our, our videos for all our members. And for everybody who is not a member, try to find maybe some free content on YouTube or consider making a subscription at a coaching platform. I really think this is a good way of studying. And number four here, where it's more detailed about detailed situations, for sure you can find videos as well, but for the more advanced of you, maybe you want to consider using a solver, for example, Odin or Biosolver or something. This is how I study a lot in those detailed situations, also using solver, all kinds of solvers actually. Tip number five, same important as all the previous ones is practice. If you studied something, you really have to practice it in order to be able to implement it and get comfortable with it. So I practice and play on a constant base. I studied something around fundamentals. When I play the next session, I want to implement it. I'm thinking, ah, okay, I learned that I need to free bet more, right? So the next session I'm playing, I really actively focus on finding those extra free bets that I just studied. When it was a more detailed area about finding a river call where I would previously have folded, in my next session, I want to practice it. I watch out very focused and careful. Before I fold on the river, I'm always asking myself, this time, maybe should I call? Is this something of what I studied? If one of your points was check raising the flop with, in your next practice session, make sure this is your focus. Before you automatically fold or call, always ask yourself, should I check raise this time? When I talk about practice, I'm not only talking about practice on the table, you can also practice off the table, especially if you have other friends that are involved in the poker, you can make quizzes to each other. For example, the preflop fundamentals, what to defend. You can look at the range viewer and ask each other, ask your friend, uh, what is the worst queen that you should defend in the big blind if the button opens or whatever. Make a game out of it, make it fun. This is very, very important as well to apply what you learn into your game. And I think if you follow those five tips, you're on a great way of improving your poker skills. Let me know in the comments below what is your number one tip of studying and how do you enjoy studying the most. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.